Hey everybody, welcome back to the zone of the twilight. The zone of the twilight. This time we've got Street of Shadows. It's going to be a very, it's going to be dark, it's going to be gloomy, it's going to be at night. And it won't be pitch black. Because you can't have shadows if, it's, if there's no light. That's a, remember that. The next time you're feeling down, you can't have shadow without light. It won't make you feel any better, but... Remember it. Anyway, next time, this time, last time, we had Stranger in Possum Meadow. It was a spooky episode, but it was also a sweet episode. It was also... I'm not going to spoil it for you. I only spoil every other episode. Like the next one, it's called Something in the Walls. Ugh. Either a ghost or termites. Or some, some sort of bug. Yeah. I'm hoping it's a ghost. But this one, Street of Shadows. I am expecting it to be at night. And to be kind of sinister. But it could surprise me. You know, it could be a sweet, like it could be a sweet tale. A really heartfelt one about... I don't know. Let's, let's find out. Let's just get into it. It's getting gloomier as we go down. Shelter. I'm already depressed. Only four job applications from last week. We require more than that, Mr. Cranston. Only four ab job applications. I thought I was sick. We require more than that. Uh, did you get any response from any of them? No. Uh, maybe if you borrowed a nicer coat. A nicer coat. Coat lady. And it's not the clothes, it's the time. The longer I'm out of work, the harder it is to find someone to hire me. Perhaps you don't understand the purpose of this interview. What do you mean? You know, this shelter has just lost its mortgage. And I have to determine people's eligibility so that I can transfer them. Ma'am, do not... Keep your, keep your cool, dude. Don't you think I'm serious about trying to find work? I work with my hands. I build. I cannot build unless someone hires me. Do you understand? I think we've talked enough. Oh. I have other people to interview. He's got a family. A daughter, look. He's trying his best. A man once successful, once firmly ensconced in the American dream. They got a TV at Only least. To have it turn into a nightmare. Steve Cranston, a statistic whose number is about to be called from the Twilight Zone. What does that mean though? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is his number up? It's okay, Steve. Something's got to break for us. Michigan, can she get a job? We'll find a job soon. Soon is not going to cut it. If I don't find something, we're going to be out in the street. You know they're closing this place down. Maybe you need a nicer coat. She can't. She can't get a job either. She got to stay in the shelter and take care of little Janie. Maybe little Janie can get get something. Do some yard work. Start earning her keep around here in the shelter. This electricity for the TV isn't free, you know. The cops almost arrested him just for walking. Ooh, the shadow, did you see that? Wouldn't you know it? The one piece I need, I don't have with me. But what do you suggest be done in the meantime? Ah, uh, just leave it off tonight. I'll be back in the morning. Leave it off. Crime. You really think that's such a good idea? Crime. Oh, look, I've left the arm light on. Nobody will know the whole system's down unless you tell them, right? You can rob this whole place. Sleep well, security. <laughs> you could take their fancy Rolls Royce. You gotta do what you gotta do for your family. Just get in there. Get in there. You've come this far. There's no turning back. You gotta rob them now. Nice. You'll notice the growth in the fourth quarter profits. Yeah, the line goes up, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can see that. If there's any way we can cut back on expenses, salary, budget, personnel, do it. They say they're down to the bone as it is. No, they're not down to the bone. You know how you can tell? They always start to yell when you fit nerve. By the time you get to the bone, they've stopped complaining because they know they could be next. These are good people. I'll do what I can. It's a shame to steal from them. You do that. Hey, you could just kill the person here and take their home. 
You take the whole home. You get a, give little Janie a, a pool. You don't need to steal anything. Just this man's life. I see you're ready to leave. You uh, have that look. It is nearly 10 o'clock. So it is. I'll stop by tomorrow with the potential tax shelters that we discussed. If it's tomorrow, it's going to have to be in the evening. I'd say around uh, 8.30. 8.30. He's got a family. Something? Nothing. 8.30. It's like Scrooge and... The guy who works for Scrooge. Uh, Cratchit. And this guy's Tiny Tim. I guess the security being down means all the... Nothing's locked either. Well, it's good to have a getaway. Can't attack a man with mirrors. Will there be anything else this evening, sir? I'll do a little reading before I go to bed. Very good, sir. That plant is probably worth more than your entire life. I won't get too drunk. You're gonna need your wits about you if you're gonna pull off this... whatever you plan to do. Oh, intruder. He's making himself at home. Hopefully the guy doesn't have a gun. Oh crap, why did I have to say it? Oh, hundred dollar bills. That could really make a, a difference to your life. It's like 10 grand there. Stay right where you are. Look, I made a mistake, okay? Don't do anything. I'll give you back. Don't move! He just wants. He'll take half. Back up. He'll just take half, okay? Back up. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna use the phone and call the cops. That's what I'm gonna do. Now, so let me explain you something. I got a family! You should have thought of that before. Now, don't try anything. I'm not afraid to use this thing. Throw the glass at him. No! I'm going to do you! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, he shot. Did he shoot him? Maybe they can swap positions. Or maybe that's just the end of the episode. Don't do crime. The end. Good morning, sir. Oh, he swapped positions. Who are you? Play along. Play along. What am I doing here? <laughs> Dead butler guy's thinking. He's not a butler. He's like... I don't know what he's. Professional gentleman. He's thinking, oh crap, my money ticket's gone. He's dead. I'll, if I just pretend this guy's the guy, maybe I'll keep getting paid. Nobody needs to know. He probably buried the guy in the backyard. Nobody needs to know. And this guy's going to be much better with his company assets. You know, he's going to be nicer to the people. He's not going to lay, lay them off or anything. And then he can move his family in here. Have a nice pool. I haven't seen a TV, though. It might be a downgrade. We might not have a TV. That would be cool. <laughs> Instead of a Twilight Zone shift where everybody just thinks he's the guy all along. Do they also think his family is, is the the guy all along? We could pause it and never go back and make up our own ending. You received a rather nasty bump when you hit your head. Yeah. You might have amnesia. You might be confused. No, that's not right. I, I was shot. Who shot the other man, but the uh, police took him away. Uh, that is... Wait a minute. There's a picture here of Lana Taylor, the movie star, and I'm in it. That is what you. What doing in this? As I recall, sir, you and she are romantically involved, I believe. Well, what about your family? No, wait. Who do you think I am? Frederick Perry, sir. That's totally wrong. Shh. Perhaps I'd better speak to the doctor again, sir. Play along. Find your real family. Give them a bunch of money, just in case it swaps back. Eight three shelter. Yeah, yes, good morning. Uh, is Elaine Cranston there, please? I'm sorry, she's at Mercy Hospital. Uh, seems her husband got shot last night. Oh. Okay, she's still there. The same. It's just the two two guys that have swapped. Elaine? 
Who are you? Strange man. You're the man who shot my husband. What are you doing here? Don't you talk to my daughter. Leave me alone. You shot my daddy. Don't you recognize me either? You're the bastard who shot her daddy. Help him out. Help him out. Stay away from him. Do you hear me? Just stay away. This is totally crazy. Yeah. Just because he robbed you was no reason to try and kill him. He was desperate. We have no money, no place to go after tomorrow. Understand. Look, I got all the money we need, babe. I don't know how this... You may you not... Give it to way out of this. Get out of here before I call the police. No, I'll drop the... I mean, he'll drop the charge. He's not really... Who does the other guy think he is? Is he going to be just as confused? Hey, hey, copper. Just as confused? He's not a copper. He's just hospital security. He must be working for sleep well, too. You're awesome. Oh, nice. Thanks. Lobster. I hate lobster. I thought you loved lobster, sir. I'm sorry. Tell the chef it's swell. <laughs> swell. What you looking at? My car? I can't have it. I stole this fair and square. There they are. Don't don't stop them. Just give him a bunch of money before the switchback happens. Oh, hey, 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 guy. How's our shares doing? Have some background material on the matters we discussed. Could I see? This is just funny. This is a lot of money. You should know. Let me ask you a question. How much money is this? I mean, if I put it all on the table in a great big pile, how much would it be? 20 million? Long term municipal certificates of deposit, a little over 40 million. Ooh, double. Do you, do you know this place called the 8th Street Shelter? It's a place downtown for the homeless. Uh, and I'd like to, uh, you know. You gotta buy the whole place. To what? Not buy them out. But yeah, I would like to buy them out. I'd like to buy out their mortgage. I'd... But why? What's the reason? Never mind why. Just do it tomorrow morning. It's for a good reason. He's not. Sly Fox. He's not gonna kick him Something out. Something big's gonna happen there, isn't it? And you wanna be in on it. Let's just say the decision I make is going to affect an awful lot of people. He's a good guy now. Don't worry. Is that a fire in a glass case? Will there be anything else this evening, Mr. Perry? No, thank you, Mark. Good night, then, sir. Do you want to? Good night. Do you want to drink with me, dude? Have you heard of the Helgramite method? Are we switching back? No! 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 It's okay, you bought the shelter. Everything's fine. They won't kick you out. The other guy won't have time to undo it. You're back! Elaine. They love you again. Dad! Steve. Thank God. What happened? You were shot breaking into the house. Don't worry, sweetheart. The man you tried to rob dropped the charges. Yeah. As soon as the doctor says you're better, we can go back to the shelter. Isn't the shelter shut down? It's all good now. No. Look. City applauds. Benefactor. Perry, when reached for comment, simply said that it was the right thing to do. Yeah. He doesn't remember well, doing it. Him. It was me. <laughs> Maybe in a way it was. Maybe Perry saw what desperation could do to somebody and mm. thought it was time he did something about it. Yeah. I talked to the director of the shelter and he said there's enough money now for some real work to be done. And he wants to hire you. Yeah. Two TVs? I was so afraid I was going to lose you. I'm just so glad that you're back. Hey, it is a heartfelt episode. So and the hard times are by no means over. Mm. But perhaps now, the decisions ahead will be a little easier to make. There are no easy answers here or in the Twilight Zone. I don't know, he should have hit some of that money somewhere. When he was in the other guy's body, and they collected it when they swap back. Always be ready for the swap back. Put things in place. Set up a bank account. In the other guy's name. Smuggle some booze out. Maybe that glass fire.
But really, the wife should have taken the money. When he was waving it at her in the hospital, she should have been like, I'll take your money, but I, you don't get to apologize. We don't forgive around here. But I'll take all your, I'll take this $10,000. That'll keep us going for a while. You know, think about your, think about your daughter. Don't think about your pride. Don't think about your emotion. Just grab the money and then be indignant. Oh, you're the worst guy. You're the worst guy ever. Let's take some of this. Whoop, whoop, yep. And that, please. Get out of here. You know? You can take with one hand and push with the other. Take and push. Never let your pride get in the way of helping out your family. That's that's the moral of the story. It's not the moral of this story. It's the moral of my story. Uh, yeah, cool little idea of a body swap between a rich man and a poor man. We never really saw... I guess the the rich man never woke up in the hospital bed. He was just out or woozy for the entire thing. So he didn't. We didn't have to uh, see the the other side of it, where he's like, "Who are you? You're not my family. Where's Jeeves?" You know, we didn't have to deal with any of that. And I guess that maybe it only worked because the second he swapped back, he woke up. That's not true, actually, because he swapped back in the daytime, and it was nighttime when he collapsed with that booze. I was going to say he swapped back because he was waking up. And he could only be in the guy's body once the other body was unconscious. But it's not quite true. Good thing we made the, the rich guy super unlikable too. Even the guy, people working for him didn't really like him. You want me to come in here at 8.30? But that's... That's my son's soccer practice. You got a problem with that? You're fired. He knew, that guy knew, that if he didn't turn up exactly when the other guy wanted him to, he would be fired. And he's like, damn it, I'm getting paid too much to... to complain, so I'll just passive-aggressively give a little grunt and turn up. I'm surprised the guy didn't undo the whole thing somehow once he got control of his own body back. Try to renee on the... buying the shelter. Maybe he didn't have enough time to do that. Or maybe he thought it would just be good for business. Hey, this guy's just a real... He's got a heart of gold. Let's give him more money. The rich get richer. Remember that? That's another rule. The rich get richer. I don't know, when I think of shelters, I never really think about families being in them. You know, with a whole bunch of other people. Just as one family in a corner and two beds. That's... I, I don't like that at all. We gotta do something about that. I don't know what we can do. Go back in time? I don't know. Anyway. What did you think? Street of Shadows. It's a strange title, actually. You know? I guess they couldn't have called it anything with the word shelter in it, because we've already had Shelter Skelter and The Shelter, and it was all about the bombs dropping. So, Street of Shadows? I don't know what I would have called it if I had the, the opportunity. The Lobster? Can't call it that. That's already a title of a movie. Uh, I don't know. You think about it and get back to me. Now, as we talked about before, next week's episode is called Something in the Walls, and I'm not looking forward to finding out what that is. It's going to be disgusting and creepy, or a ghost, or a body. 
you know. Could be could be a body. Although we don't get much murder in Twilight Zone. Come back next time. Oh, and the one after that is a game of pool, which is a retelling. I presume a direct retelling of the original Twilight Zone classic. With uh what was that guy's name? Fats something? Fats? Remember? It had our old friend in it? Who was in multiple episodes? Whose name just can't I just can't think of it. What's that guy's name? I don't know. They could have that guy in it. You know, he's still alive in the 80s. That would, that would be an interesting idea. To have a retelling of an original Twilight Zone episode with the same exact cast. Same exact guy. Dr. Quincy, what the hell is that guy's name? Jack Klugman. Yeah. Anyway, come back for that next time. And I'll see you then.